On the gridiron, it's a special week in the borderland as UTEP will host rival New Mexico State on Wednesday in the 100th edition of the Battle of I-10. The game will air on national te television on ESPN2 as the 2-5 and five Miners look to take down the 4-3 and three Aggies for a third consecutive year. Both teams coming off of big wins last Wednesday night. NMSU over Sam Houston, UTEP over FIU. It's a yearly tradition to play for the Silver Spade and the Brass Spittoon, but the 100th edition, no doubt, makes this even more special. And the fact that it's on national TV and has the chance to boost the brands of both programs on Wednesday is huge. The Aggies and Miners both can feel the intrigue building around this game. I think it's awesome for both schools. I think it helps them, it helps us. I mean, and uh, I guarantee you, you know, Dana wants football to be important in this, you know, this area. We want football to be important in this area. This will help it become a lot more important because it's on national TV, it's rival game. I was at the post office one day trying to pick up a package and one of the UTEP fans came up to me and was like, oh, you play for UTEP? And I'm like, yeah, they were like, we just want you to beat NMSU. <laughs> That's all we want. And I'm like, we're going to do more than that, but yes, I got you. So like, I could feel the energy around the city. Like they really like, they care about this game and we are trying our best and we're going to do our best to like get the dub. NMSU has not beaten both UTEP and UNM on the road in the same year since 2000, 1923. Excuse me, the 100th edition of the Battle of I-10 kicks off at 7 p.m. Wednesday at the Sun Bowl. Be sure to tune in to KTSM at 6 p.m. that night for a one-hour pregame show taking you up to kickoff.